Hello guys, it's your crony boy here. Um, so couple of you guys asked me that how I stream on my YouTube channel. So when I was not a streamer, I also used to think uh, that how streamers stream those games in YouTube. And I know some of you will be thinking that it's a pretty long process. Yeah, it's long, but it's so simple than you think, literally. What the hell? I'm just talking so much serious. <laughs> the intro should be like this. Are you a human? Yes! 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 Do you have a YouTube channel? Yes! 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 And you wanna stream? No! 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 Uh, you are uh, pretty much at uh, right place. <laughs> So yeah, here in this video, I'm gonna be showing you, yeah, you, how you can stream on YouTube using Streamlabs OBS. I know there are so many softwares available in the web for streaming, but here I'm gonna show you only the Streamlabs OBS because it's my personal favorite. And if you understand the basics of this software, so you can handle pretty much every streaming software because they are basically the same. So. And I will try to show you as simple as possible and I will try to explain everything as possible. So if you are looking for a specific part of this whole progress, so I will drop uh, all the timestamps in the description so you can follow them, you know. So let's go. Yeah, you can stream with uh, 144p 15fps or you can stream with uh, again. 4k um, 144 fps but most of the people want to stream at 720p 60 fps or 1080p 60 fps so for basic 720p 60 fps streaming you will need first of all an ethernet connection with minimum 2.5 mps speed uh, then a monitor a pc a mic a webcam if you want to and you yourself and a YouTube channel with 100 million subscribers. Why are you running? So some people really think that you need a very expensive gaming PC to stream. The but actually you can stream with top to the low end PC or mid range PC. So in case of PC specs, it depends upon your CPU and GPU. I mean graphics card. So for streaming, there are two types of encoder available in this platform the first one is software x264 encoding which is mainly a cpu based encoding the another one is uh, nvenc encoding or gpu based encoding so what i'm trying to say is at least you need a powerful cpu or at least a powerful gpu so for good quality of software encoding you will need at least a Ryzen 5 5600X or uh, a Ryzen 7 processor or an Intel i7 9th gen and those are pretty expensive and that's why most of the budget streamers use GPU encoding because if you have at least a powerful GPU and a decent CPU you can stream very nicely so for that you will need at least a 4 core 8 thread CPU or a 6 core 6 thread CPU like Intel i3 9th gen or Intel i5 9th gen in case of Ryzen it's Ryzen 5 3500X or Ryzen 5 3600 those are the pretty sweet CPUs for that and to support these CPUs I mean to actually perform the GPU encoding you will need at least a Turing architecture based uh, graphics card from Nvidia I mean at least a GTX 1650 Super or more powerful to use the NVENC encoding and uh, you know for better performance uh, 16 gigs of RAM yeah you can do it 8 G gigs but sometimes it will like stutter a bit if you have a mid-range laptop uh, laptop with this spec or a medium range PC with these specs you can pretty much stream CSGO Valorant Minecraft and other triple a title games all the triple a title games from 2015 to you know 2020 easily at 720p 60 fps and in some cases 1080p 60 fps depending upon your internet speed you know if you listen to this explanation all the way to the end then i salute your patience you're absolute legend now let's 
destroy the theory and come to our desktop so how we can really do it okay there we go first head over to the browser and go to this website streamlabs.com i'll put the link in the description so once you get on this website ju just hit on download streamlabs and your download will start in no time so while it's downloading grab yourself a cup of coffee because it's a pretty long tutorial and you have done the 20 percent of this tutorial congratulations yeah i'm not joking a very few percentage of people can come so far okay okay so we can see the download is completed so now head over to the downloads folder and this is our application so double click it and run it so obviously yes and it's your now easy installation you just hit on i agree then next obviously in different location it will be your ssd so it will work perfect and finish there we go boy we have successfully installed streamlabs obs in our pc so now we need to log in but here as i'm showing only how to stream in youtube so i'm gonna be logging in with my youtube channel so click on the youtube icon now it will redirect you to this page where you need to choose your google account and here i'm choosing this one and here is my channel so i'm selecting this one and yeah it's done we're logged in you know it's pretty easy so as we are logged in we need to choose the plan there is starter or prime so here we're gonna be choosing the starter plan because it's free and i'm not gonna be import from obs this thing i'm gonna be installing it fresh so, so start fresh then here you can uh, set up your mic and your webcam if you want to do so here i'm not gonna be using my webcam and i'm gonna be setting up the mic from the inside option so for now i'm gonna be skipping this thing one but actually you can select your default microphone from here also uh, so either select it or let it be default and hit continue so these are so many free themes but i'm not gonna be using it right now i'm just skipping this thing right now and bam there we go we finally reached our main control room i mean control overlay but you can see my older overlays are being already saved in here so that's how it looks like but i'm gonna be showing you how to add each of them from the beginning so here i'm gonna be deleting all of them not gonna lie i talk so much trash so subscribe please a few moments later so we have finally deleted all my previous overlays so now head over to the top left corner and there's an icon of ruler and pencil maybe it's themes so click it and here we are with so many themes but everything is not free so go to the search box write free and hit enter and you'll get so many free themes so grab the one you like so here i'm choosing this one maybe um let me scroll so you scroll by scrolling down uh there are so many free of them so let's uh, choose uh uh any of any of this one okay so i'm choosing this one so just simply click it and the top right corner there install overlay and just hit it it i mean click it and you can see that it's automatically been installing there we go and we finally installed our uh, simple stream overlay which have uh, starting soon scene live scene and intermission scene and a beat right back scene four scene already been configured with those levels and whatever even you can uh, test your notification from here like uh, subscriber notification uh, even like you can try mem membership notification and donation notification and a super chat notification even you can customize those things also and that's pretty decent for the beginner streamers that's pretty decent so here we have four different scenes for four different purpose of time which you're gonna be showing to your viewers suppose like starting soon at the beginning of the stream live scene at the live of the stream obviously such kind of like that but whoa wait it's not ready yet first you need to delete this background image just delete it just del uh, you know and hit yes okay so now we need to add a display source in these uh, sources in in the sources obviously so go to the plus icon hit that and we're gonna be adding the display source that's display source <laughs>
so once you've selected it just uh, hit on add source so you can see your canvas size is automatically set to your default resolution but the display capture layer is not at right place so select it and drag all the way down to the bottom yeah that's a similar similar concept like uh, adobe photoshop that's that that kind of you know and bam we're done but wait we need to add another source so go to the plus icon and add the source called game capture and add source and add source obviously okay so what this source does is actually it uh, captures only the game suppose you are streaming and the game is running on the background but but you want to search some private thing in your google but you don't want to let your viewers to watch it so here it is just put the game capture right above the display capture so whenever you're gonna search on google uh, it will not be revealed to your viewers the viewers can only see the game running in the background so now we are done with our normal stream overlay you're 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 done but that kind that overlay looks a little bit dumb because it's static so now here we're gonna we're gonna be adding some dynamic free beautiful overlay as you have seen in my previous or in my recent stream i, I have been using uh, them a lot so there we go so it's way easier than you ever thought it just requires a few click so what you need to do is just head over to your browser and go to this website this link will be obviously in the description this is actually the stream elements overlay manager okay so log in with your youtube account the same thing choose your google account choose your youtube channel and allow this uh, you know the stream elements to access your google account allow it and you're gonna be directly logging into your stream elements page ah uh, i mean uh, stream elements dashboard so yeah on the left you can see there is an option called my overlay here are my overlay already been saved in here but to get them go to the themes gallery and you can see a lot of animated plus static beautiful overlay all for free these are all free so you can preview each of them you know and create your own overlay so uh, just select whatever you like just uh, if you have seen also this valorant uh, animated overlay I, i've been using so many of my streams so what you need to do is just select what you like and create it on my just click on create it on my overlay just there and it will be shown up in your my overlay section on the stream element dashboard and and from there you can modify and e even edit them so i'm going into my my overlay section and just for example let's take these starting soon valorant uh, animated overlay but before using it directly we need to edit and put your names in those uh, you know spaces so to do that hold alt and select any of the layer which you want to modify just hold alt and select it then you can see the settings option and there you go there you can you can change your name suppose uh like i'm um, my twitter is uh, crane tech yt so write your uh, you know social id there and hit save and it will be saved in no time now we're gonna be adding this in our streamless obs so there is an icon like a chain shaped icon on the top just uh, click on it and into uh, your link will automatically copy to your clipboard now head over to the stream labs now head, head over to your starting soon scene and toggle the previous stream overlay off now go to the plus icon and add the source called browser source uh, yeah the, the the next one yeah just select it and add the source now just name it uh, suppose like starting soon valorant and add source and now we need to paste the link we just copied just control v now we need to add our resolution in here in my case it's 1920 by 1080p as yes, uh, as that's my basic resolution if you don't know your resolution just head on to your search bar search for resolution and select the this one and you will get your resolution there 1920 by 1080p recommended that's your default resolution in case you don't know don't need to be sad you know so after putting the height and width just hit on done and you can see look at that this valorant starting soon animated overlay now for your simplicity i'm gonna show it one more time i'm just going to my overlay once more and i'm gonna be selecting uh, maybe uh, the live scene maybe 
um yeah the live scene and i'm just gonna be copy the url and i'm gonna be head over to the streamlabs obs and under the live scene source I, i'm gonna be adding a source again that browser source but this time we need to click on add a source instead and we need let's let just uh, name it uh live scene valorant maybe yeah and add source so now we are in just paste the url you copied Control v put your resolution in there and just hit on done and as we have added the browser source in the sources so we need to toggle off the every other layer in here except the display capture and the game capture so i'm just doing it meanwhile you just subscribe bam we have done it now get yourself another cup of coffee and do this this thing same with your other scenes now we f did it and that's how it looks like after doing it that the starting soon scene that's and uh, just select live scene that then that's the live scene um not the intermission but here we are ending soon yeah that's the ending soon scene and that's that what do you else more needed and that that looking sick now here i'm adding one more overlay just uh fast forwarding this stuff meanwhile i have a discord join my discord and follow in my other social medias all the links in the description please go and visit follow and subscribe so we basically finished adding that uh, animated overlay stuff and i hope you can understand that toggle off and toggle on that function that means you can keep so many overlays at the, at the same time you just need to select the one you need at that for moment of time and toggle off the other ones that's the uh, main thing so i hope you can understand what i'm trying to say and if you have understood the whole thing which i just explained then you are you really have some potential to do something you just just do it a very very few percentage of people can reach so far so if you have uh, learned how to do it you're absolute legend so far i have shown you how you can download streamlabs obs how to add stream elements overlays in your stream how to add normal overlay and that stuff and how to use that toggle on on off all the other stuff and now i'm gonna be showing you how you can add your custom overlays in your stream i mean which you can make from your photoshop or after effects like i do not gonna lie it's the most easiest step just you need to open the streamlabs obs and the folder where you have put your stream overlays so all you need to do is uh select the scene and click and drag the file into the scene sources so once you dropped it in the source you can see that it's out of the size you know so right click on the image go to the transform and hit fit to screen and i'm not gonna lie you're done that's the all overlay stuff i i can say now do the same with the other scenes <sighs> i'm not gonna lie this editing i'm i mean making this tutorial was the most hardest project i ever done in my life and how it looks like starting soon okay be right back that's uh, my custom live scene i mean i'm i've been using the that stream elements one and the ending soon one that, that's i custom made this thing with uh, using photoshop now i'm gonna be showing the correct settings for your stream so go to the top down left corner the cog icon that the settings hit the settings option and it will take you to the settings tab so in the general option you don't need to do anything much because by default it's uh automatically been set up correctly so if it's been different in your pc then you can follow my mine you know now in the stream option here we, as we have just logged in with our youtube so we can't stream in facebook or twitch because it requires a prime account to do that so the main thing is in output so go to the output mode and set to the advanced mode now we're going to be jumping into the encoder settings the main settings one of the main and important settings 
so as i mentioned in the intro if you're running with a powerful cpu uh, such as ryzen 5 5600x or ryzen 7 3500x or 3700x whatever or uh, intel i7 9 gen that kind of processors just select the software x264 encoding because, because your cpu is pretty capable of doing a software x264 encoding otherwise if you're running with a decent graphics card like gtx 1660 super or gtx uh, 1650 or rtx 2060 all those turing architecture based cards which supports NVENC encoder that means GPU based encoding uh, so in my case I'm, I'm gonna be using the NVENC encoder settings as I'm running with GTX 1660 Super I'm not gonna be going with hardware NVENC new because I don't know why it creates some glitches while I stream so I'm gonna be using the hardware only NVENC encoder and that's most budget streamers use they buy a decent graphics card and pairs it with a mid-range CPU and build their gaming uh, and streaming setup. So here I'm selecting the hardware and bank encoder. Nice. And obviously check the box of enforce streaming service encoder settings. Set the rate control to obviously CVR that means constant bit rate that will give you best performance. And in case of bit rate settings, this number depends upon your upload speed. Either you can fill it with this chart provided in the NVIDIA website. Otherwise, you can calculate like this. Suppose your internal upload speed is 3 Mbps. First, multiply it with 1000. That means 3000. Then, um, take the 80% of it. I mean, 3000 into 0.8. So, you will get around 2400. And that's your bitrate which you will need to put in that bitrate box. Okay. So, basically, I go with... 2500 because my internet upload speed is around 3.1 or 2 mbps so approximately it's 2500 bit rate now uh, in the preset i prefer to go with the quality one because that's the best settings otherwise if you go with max quality or performance that little bit fluctuates sometimes for me but for you you can try but i recommend quality piece preset here now in the profile set it to high but if your pc lags then set it to main and if it more lags then set it to the baseline you know and here you can put the b frame as two now as i'm describing only the streaming i'm not gonna be messing around with recording and audio replay buffer and that and that all stuff now let's go to the audio track now just select it 44.1 ki kilo gigahertz and that's good obviously that's stereo channel and you need to select your microphone here which you're gonna be using um, i run with uh, nvidia rtx voice now in the video settings put the base canvas resolution as your native resolution i mean 1920 by 1080p and the output resolution in which resolution you're gonna stream i stream with 720p resolution due to my network speed and hardware issue in the downscale filter i uh, recommend you to use 32 samples glanzo serpent scaling because that gives you the most uh, best quality so in case if it's causing any lag so you can try bicubic or bilinear scaling but that will make your stream quality a little blurrier now in the fps settings obviously run with 60 fps because 60 fps is the most appealing thing and in case if you feel some lag then you can try uh, 59.94 because th that sometimes works but for me i'm gonna be running with uh, 60 fps obviously because it's uh, pretty capable and i don't face any errors now in the hotkeys you can make your own hotkeys uh, in here that depends fully upon you what you gonna uh, make for your ease and so you don't need to mess around with these advanced settings you can mess around with the scene collection or the notification personal settings appearance and remote control and whatever this is yeah you can enable the in-game overlay and don't forget to click the hit done button Ugh. and for the last tips you can uh, control your system volume and your mic volume from here as i put the desktop audio a little bit lower so people can hear my voice now it's time to go live okay okay whoa, whoa, whoa. so open the streamlabs minimize it head over to the browser 
open your YouTube studio then you will see an icon like this one and select it and click it so it will redirect to your page when you can schedule your stream so click on the schedule stream on the top right corner here and uh, I'm gonna be creating a new stream here so here you just put your title Let's, I'm just putting test uh, maybe otherwise like how to stream in yt test 01 uh, making it uh, unlisted or maybe private I'm uh, making it unlisted so otherwise uh, you know if I uh, live on public so people can see me and here just put the description here I'm just putting test one and just for example now select the genre of your streaming obviously it's gaming maybe and you can add your game title like here I'm adding Valorant and just search and select the Valorant there here you can just uh, enable monetization in case of me monetization is available so so why should I turn it off just enable it you know and you can set your date and your time from here you know so select the time what? and you can upload custom thumbnails for example I'm uploading a Valorant thumbnail from here and hit to the create stream yes boy so it's now creating the stream and you can see that the stream has been created now we, we need to adjust some more things in the stream so now open the stream from there click on edit and from here you can manually you know edit so many things for example it's a normal glitch of youtube such like that the uh, upload the thumbnail doesn't work sometimes so you, you can redo this thing from here and the most important thing is tags uh, suppose you're live in valorant so give that give it a tag like valorant live or only live let's play valorant maybe or valorant live 1080p this kind of using these kind of tags will attract more viewers to your stream and youtube will also recommend your stream uh, now you're done you can uh, pl play around with the live chat option you can enable slow mode or further any other things from there and the monetization obviously one and then don't forget to hit the save button and it will give you a confirmation message that your change has been saved after a some time so wait for that here you can write your welcoming message like thanks for coming then you can pin it uh, on your chat so then everyone everybody can read this message from here like that it's kind of extra tips you can use you know this analytics bar viewer activity and other all uh, other stuff from there another important thing to be discussed that normal latency low latency ultra low latency so basically normal latency uh, have almost a 30 second delay low latency have 10 to 15 second and ultra low 7 second delay so i prefer going with low latency because because that's the best choice for me actually and less buffering issue now it's the time open your streamlabs select your starting soon scene and there's a button called go live just click it yeah just click it now you can see your schedule stream is available in here not in here in here yeah you'll see your stream is available in here so select it and you can even change your status from here title from here unlisted option from here and everything that's why i love streamlabs obs personally you can even post your stream in your twitter you know just automatic twitter just connect you can connect with twitter and do that basically i'm not gonna be doing right now and what are you waiting for just uh there's a button called confirm and go live just can hit it and there we go we're gonna be live in we're live nice congratulations 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 oh hello you're alive great welcome to the world i don't know you're alive or not if you're alive you're absolute legend but i'm i'm, I'm fucking dead by making this video this is the most hardest editing i have ever done in my life literally it's a 30 minute it's gonna be a 30 minute video and hell yeah i mean literally it's so hard you know oh my god you, you can you know pretty much go with this live scene 
you just select live scene whenever you're live and whatever game you're gonna be playing your viewers gonna watch it look at how beautiful is this uh, animated stream overlay looking like nice oh my god this is so good and even you can edit your title whenever you want to change from here just go to that pencil icon and from there you can change your title like if you change like playing csgo and just hit on the update button even you can change the genre from also here whenever you want while streaming don't forget to hit that update button just whenever you're gonna update it will update the settings for youtube and your title will be successfully changed I swear to god i'm gonna be dying i'm gonna die so literally so this is your, your youtube control room i don't know why i open this thing i'm going to edit and then you, yeah yeah you can change your game name from here again whenever you want while streaming while you are live you can change that just only the game name and title you can change that and that's it Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Ah, uh, and yeah, this video takes so much time. So please like, comment, share, subscribe. What is what can I do? Good night and good luck. Nice. Yeah, I hope you know how to end the stream. Just hit on the end stream, and your stream is automatically been ended. Thanks for watching. <sighs> it took me so much time to edit. So now I'm gonna be showing you how to create a, uh, I mean, uh, stream on YouTube. Just uh, minimize this Streamlabs OBS and open your YouTube. Um, and you can. Oh, aesthetic is live. There, my boy. My boy is live. Let's uh, see the stream. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, wait. I'll give it like. Uh, Oh shit, lol. I got distracted again. <laughs> Why? How many cigarettes have you got, lad?